today I'm gonna be uh, recharging my Senville mini split. I got a four head unit, as you can see there. One, two, three, four. Uh, no matter how well you install these, they're prone to leak a little bit of refrigerant over time. Just the element of heating and cooling. Um, so I'm gonna seal it up. This is the refrigerant UV dye and seal it. Um, hopefully it's not a big leak. This should seal up most smaller leaks. And I'll show you a link to get the refrigerant, a gauge, and then you'll need a mini split adapter. They're all pretty universal. Some goggles, gloves, your basic tools. And I'll show you guys how to get started. So I knew I was having issues when you know you set this to 86 degrees in heating mode and then you would check the temperature coming out of it and pretty much it was uh, nowhere ever close to 86 so I'll let this heat up a little bit. So before we get started we want to change this to cool mode. Get it down to 62 degrees. And make that match and you can just turn off all your head units in the meantime. And then we'll hook up everything at the main panel and then uh, we'll turn everything on to cooling mode. But you can get everything ready just by having it at 62 degrees and cooling mode on every single head unit. So we just want to remove this panel right here. Uh, just little two screws on the bottom right there. And I'll come back. Alright, so once you open it up, if you have a multi-head unit, this will be your tap. It's the one that's headed pointing straight to the sky. And it's the largest one. Alright, so we'll tap in there and we can get started. I just loosen this panel up just so I can make sure this tube is nice and straight. And once you have that, make sure you do this by hand and then do a couple couple turns by uh, needle nose. And then you'll connect your refrigerant onto there. And here's the gauge. Of course you want it in the the blue area right there. 100 to 135. So we get some pressure and now it's in the low. So you want to move. We'll start refilling. Have your gloves and then make sure you turn your head unit to 62 degrees and cooling. Adapter there. There's the pressure before. Let's push that red knob right there. Yeah. Daddy's coming. 